Hello everyone, Miss Carrie here from Miss Carrie's Creations with a soft pastel mother layout for you to enjoy. I'm going to be using one of the new templates in the shop along with the best mum title and a few items from the April Fox box. I have these lovely photos of a mother and daughter that this best mum ever perspective is perfect for. I'm going to be pairing this with these lovely wooden hearts and the wooden rainbow that will be arriving in the April Fox box. I'm going to be using one of the new templates on my layout today. If you've not seen these before, I'll be showing you how to use them. I've also gathered an array of pattern papers and some bits of ephemera. My goal this spring is to use up some items that I have stashed away, so you might recognize a few from your collection. As I create this layout, I'll be adding a few other items to the design, and I'll make sure to add those in the supply list in the description below. For the background, I've grabbed a lovely pale fabric-like pattern, and I'm going to add some brighter pieces behind the photo to add to that lovely color palette. I enjoy mixing and matching patterns on my pages, but I always have to be careful to keep everything in balance. On this page, I added a lined yellow pattern and coral polka dot pattern behind the photo, and then I brought those two patterns over to the right side of the page. I do want to add a little bit of white to my page, so I'm going to bring in this floral pattern that has all of the colors I've selected in it. To create that fancy edge, I'm going to use one of the new acrylic templates from Bramble Fox. These are 12 inch templates with a border design on each side, and they're made of a very solid acrylic plastic, just like their perspectives. I like how they're clear so that I can easily align these with my patterns and line them up on my page. I traced two of these scallop shapes so that they face each other, and now I'm going to cut them out with some scissors. If you are skillful with a craft knife, you could also use that to cut out these patterns. Once I have these cut out, you're going to be able to see how lovely this border looks on the page. I'm going to run a few of these pieces through my sewing machine, and then I'll share how the rest of this page comes together. Off camera, I added stitching around all of the pieces. I'm going to use a punch to create two little holes on either side of this border because I want to add a little bit of lacing with some twine or ribbon. Before I adhere everything down, I do want to add a little bit of stenciling between the two border pieces. I'm going to bring in the small heart stencil and some speckled egg blue ink, and I'll add a few soft hearts to the page. You can see over there on the left that I tested a few colors first. I often do this when I can't decide on which color to use. I knew that that portion of the page was going to be covered with the photo, so I used it as a test area. The hearts are more of a tone on tone color. I don't want them to be overpowering, more like a softer blue pattern in between the two scallops. All right, I'm going to adhere these patterns in place. I did add stitching around the edges of all of these pieces, and I created some zigzag stitching on the two border pieces that I'm placing on the right. Because that photo was popped up on foam tape, I need to find a way to raise up the title perspective. I can add some strips of foam tape to the thicker letters, but it's much more difficult to do on the thinner fonts. I'm going to create a little cluster of florals to tuck behind it. Over there on my glass board, I'm building that little cluster, and then I'm going to place this next to the photo to raise that title up to level. To create another cluster on the page, I'm bringing in a lovely wooden rainbow from the April Fox box. I just love adding natural elements to my pages. Behind the rainbow, I'm going to tuck a few more florals that match the others I added to the page. Now, at this point, the right side of the title doesn't have much support behind it, so I'm going to tuck a wooden heart here. 
In the upper left corner, I'm going to build a third little cluster. I have a soft green blue phrase that says, love this. And I'm going to tuck a few more florals up here behind that photo. In this corner, I wanted to bring in another wooden element. All of my floral layers already filled that space under the photo. And if I tuck another heart here, this corner of the photo is going to be lifted higher than the rest. Instead of trying to lift up that photo more, I'm just going to cut down that heart and tuck it in place. This is going to lessen the bulk just a little bit. Now I want to add some twine or ribbon to the scallop border. I debated on a few types of ribbon and landed on this jute colored twine for the lacing. I like how it brings more neutral tones to the page with all of the soft pastel colors. It took me a few moments to figure out how I wanted to lace this. I discovered that a needle threader was very helpful for this task and it prevented the ends of the twine from getting frayed. Once the twine was laced through, I just tied a little knot and let the ends trail down the page. After I trimmed the twine, I took some of the leftover pieces and created a decorative knot and glued it to that upper left heart. I like how this brings more texture to that part of the page. Near the rainbow, I wanted to bring in some phrases to reflect the feeling in the photos. I am using some puffy stickers from HipKit in a variety of colors and laying them out vertically down the side of the page. I did leave some room under the photo for journaling, but if you wanted, you could add journaling strips here instead of the phrases. I'm going to finish adhering these phrases in place and then I'll share the completed layout with you. Off camera, I added some more zigzag stitching to the left side of the page. This created a set of three zigzags on my page and brought more texture to the design. I also added a few puffy hearts near the phrases and one near the title. The pinks are not identical in color and they don't quite match the title, but it's just enough to bring more of that color to the page. I'm going to share some close up photos of this layout so that you can see all the lovely details. Today's project records a sweet mother-daughter memory on a bed of pastels and florals. The border design added a charming feminine touch to the page and it was simple to create with the acrylic template. I like how I was able to do a little stash busting on this page, mixing and matching elements from various collections, and I like how the new perspectives and wood elements matched all of these items perfectly. I want to thank you again for joining me as I created another scrapbook layout. If you would like to see more of my projects, you can visit my channel or follow Miss Carrie's Creations online. If you have any questions about this project or supplies listed below, feel free to leave me a comment. I hope that you have a wonderful week and I can't wait to see what you create.